Hola, bonjour, howdy. Coming up on Seahawks Central Sports, we take a look at Chief Reporter Caitlin Dula's talk on the walk, asking students who the hottest UNCW sports teams are. A look at men and women's basketball, volleyball, and soccer. Stay tuned, Seahawks Central Sports coming up next. Who do you think the hottest UNCW sports teams currently are? Chief Reporter Caitlin Dula asked some students here at UNCW what their thoughts were. So let's hand it over to Caitlin. Thanks, Perry. I'm out here on Chancellors because it's voting day today. I'm out here to see who the UNCW students think the most attractive men and women sports teams are. So let's head on over to the polls. The most attractive sports team on campus is the baseball team because it's just a true fact. I think the most attractive women's sports team at UNCW is the women's volleyball team. The most attractive girl sports team is obviously the swim team. And as a side note, the guys swim team is the most attractive guy sports team. I'd have to say the most attractive girls team is probably the girls soccer team. So I would say soccer as well. I think the most attractive athletic female athletic team at UNCW is uh, the UNCW cheerleading team because they're all really cute. I think the soccer team is the most attractive due to their swift moves on the field. Um, and I think the baseball team because baseball pants. Baseball pants. <laughs> Well, folks, it looks like the votes are in, and the baseball team and women's soccer looks to have good looks on and off the field. Keep it up, guys. That's all I have from Chancellors. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin, but I was leaning more toward the hottest teams, as in winning streak and overall stats. Well, we know where your head is at, Caitlin. <laughs> but anyways, thank you, Chief Reporter Caitlin Dula, everybody. The UNCW Lady Basketball Team played their only exhibition match of preseason play. However, losing to Pembroke in a close match with a score of 64-60, some top scorers of the game were UNCW Pembroke's Kiera Haney, scoring 13 points and 13 rebounds, and UNCW's Bree Mobley's 18 points uh, in that game and 13 rebounds in her unofficial collegiate debut. The Braves totaled 35.7% shooting from the floor, while the Seahawks were 28.4% from the floor. Tough game for the Seahawks, but head coach Adele Harris and team will pick up their heads as they travel west to number six ranked Notre Dame University on Friday for their 2013-2014 regular season opener. A 50-point deficit is what the UNCW men's basketball team left Belmont Abbey with to talk about on their bus ride home. The final score of that game was 101-51, to marking the 25th consecutive exhibition victory for the Seahawks this past Wednesday at Trask Coliseum. Scoring for the Seahawks in their impressive win was Cedric Williams, a third-year player from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, making, making six out of his seven shots, and Tanner Milson with 13 points, senior guard Chris Dixon with 11, and senior Shane Reibold and Marcus Graham with 10 points apiece. The Seahawks were 41-62 and 62 in attempted field goals and 66.1% from the floor. That's pretty impressive, guys. Coach Buzz Peterson said, and I quote, I was very pleased overall. It was a good game to get all the jitters out. I told them that we'd play tougher teams, but we made good decisions in transition and did a good job of sharing the basketball. The Seahawks open up their regular season next Friday at the Big Ten opponent's home turf in Iowa City when they face the Hawkeyes. If you didn't catch the men's soccer game this past Saturday right here at UNCW, well, you missed a good one. It ended in a two-all draw, but not without a fight from both teams. UNCW took on nationally ranked William & Mary, and with this, tie both teams uh, for the second in the CAA. Scoring for the Seahawks twice, might I add, was David Sizemore, even with the loss of the Seahawks held the shot advantage to 15-13. It is a really close race for the qualifying position in the CAA tournament, leaving seven teams within four points of each other and only one game left to play for each team. The Seahawks host Northeastern on November 6th at 7 p.m. in the regular season finale for both teams. It is senior night and Michael Parrish and Hector Martin will be recognized as we say farewell for their efforts as Seahawks soccer players. The women's soccer team was also busy in action. This past Sunday, the women faced Hofstra in an away match at the Pride Soccer Stadium. However, they wound up short when two goals were scored by Hofstra's Amber Stobbs and Sam Skolariki. In the final 17 minutes of play, Hofstra out-hustled our Lady Seahawks with a 28-8 shot advantage. This was the first round of the 2013 CAA Women's Soccer Championship. This past Sunday at the UNCW Hanover Hall, the volleyball team scored a victory over Delaware, defeating the Blue Hens in a 3-0 victory. Once again, senior Christy Lay and junior Morgan Klein led the charge with 13 kills each. UNCW returns to action November 8th, hosting Northeastern at 7 p.m. Delaware returns to action November 10th in their contest against Townsend.
That will do it for this episode of Seahawks Central Sports presented by UNCW's Teal TV. Check out uncwsports.com for more highlights and info. Hope to see some of my fellow Seahawks around campus. And don't forget to join Team Teal for chances to win prizes just for attending a UNCW home game. We are the voice of UNCW Sports. I'm Perry DeLuke. I'll see you next week. Good night.